Hey gang, Ford here with Oxygen Not Included. I told you it would be back as soon as they did another update. And they did. It's just dropped the agricultural update. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm all excited to get back to this series. As you can see, we've named our guys. We've got Amir, Steve, and Cheese It. Named after you guys, three of our biggest commenters at the moment. Do you want a duplicate named after you? Drop a comment in this video. Drop a like, and we'll see what we can do. For now, let's jump on in, shall we? Okay, so we we know all this. If you're new to the series, I've got a massive playlist, and our buddy Seismic Harbor is also doing a play on this, so check him out as well. It's a great little game, but this is a fantastic starting place. All this water, all this water, loads of copper ore, loads of oxygen up here, loads of algae. This is what we need to get started. So, let's jump on in by digging a little stairwell, stairway even, up here. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Forgot all the controls. Go on, guys. Dig. Dig like your life depends on it. Because it actually does. So, we can... Which one's digging? Nope, not that one. There we go. Dig all of this. Is this harvestable? Nope, not yet. So we'll leave that where it is for now. We're going to jump straight on by building a tile floor along here. Yeah, we'll do that one as well. Sod it. And digging this away. Yeah, I don't think they're going to reach that, are they? That's okay, we will leave it there. To wherever they can reach. There we go, that'll do. Now they've got access to the water. What can we do right there? You know what? We'll build a ladder up here. And we'll start off with our floor here want to leave as much of this in for as long as possible because it's our only source of oxygen for the minute so you're gonna need another ladder there in fact what I'm gonna do I'm gonna speed round this and I'll get back to you once I've got the basics done there we go. That is the basics done. We've got beds, we've got toilet, we've got a microbe masher, which will create us some food. And, yeah, that's pretty much everything we need. So we've got our massage tables for when they get stressed, because we have... I can't remember what I gave everyone. You're just, so Steve is destructive, so when he gets stressed, he's going to destroy shit. You've got Amir, who is a binge eater. When he gets stressed, he's going to eat us out of house and home. And cheese it who is Ugly Cryer. Looks like we've got some new um, stress habits. So I'm quite excited to try them out. Obviously, still trying to stay away from stress vomiters, because they can pollute the place and cause hell. So obviously now we've got this, our next port of call would be an algae deoxidizer. So we can have a steady supply of oxygen. I mean we're pretty good at the moment. We're going to try and stay within the confound of this area to begin with. So it's easy to generate the oxygen. It's not going to be too draining on them. I mean we don't really need to live outside these three guys. So yeah, should go well. In theory. Steve's taking a nap. Great start, Steve. You know, you go ahead, man. You nap whenever you want. So, we're going to change priority here. We want that to be priority nine, so all the food gets put away straight away. Waiting material delivery. Copper war. So, we've got plenty of that material. So, yeah. Nope, okay, Cheese is going to the toilet. I was hoping he was going to build that. There we go, he's grabbing the copper raw. Perfect. So 
So next, we will be working on some kind of science room. So we shall go up here. We need to keep two floor. Oh, two. So the next floor will be here. Dig this little area here out. That's going to cause a massive cave in, so we are not going to be digging that far in. Not just yet, because all that's going to collapse and it's going to open the area up. And we don't want that. We don't want a big air open area for all our oxygen to dissipate into. There we go. Come on. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Eventually what we'll do is try and break this away so we've got all the, all our water in one location which obviously will go to the lowest location so we'll have a water tank down here eventually when we'll set up and got plenty of oxygen coming in. We've got a nice cold area over here so that's going to be a possible area to break into if we can warm it up all this will become water, got more water. I know I hear that there is a way to turn ice into oxygen, but I haven't quite worked out how yet, so hopefully we'll figure that out along the way. Right, okay, you're done, so we need power for you. Nope, oh, bedtime. Night guys. Get rid of that. Notice I'm letting the hatch wander around because I've found now, since the agricultural update, he, well, of course, obviously he leaves his droppings everywhere. That can now be used as a supply of fuel, so that is definitely something worth having around. And he doesn't attack our guys unless we attack him, so live and let live, I say. We could do once this is dissolved, we'll have a ladder coming down here. Is this stuff ready yet? That's ready, but they're not, so we'll just leave that until we've got something to do with it. Come on, guys, let's get this done. Let's crank the priority up here then. Whatever on stress levels. Ah, it's not too bad. I'm going to try and keep them below 20%, which is why I bought or built these three first. So we'll set you to. That's nice. Basically, we can actually set it now. So as soon as they hit a certain stress level. They'll instantly take their break and de-stress. That is a nice added touch. We don't need to set a duplicate on each massage table. Go on guys, faster. One thing we are going to need, though, I don't think we can do it yet until we've researched it. No. Okay, so let's get our research station up and running. So we'll have you there, and then we'll have the supercomputer next to it. We need raw metal, so guys, get mining. All of that will do nicely. We will prioritise that the highest level. Come on guys. Get digging. And supercomputer there. Better power coming up here. Oh no not there. There we go and there we go. So now we have our research stations. 
Let's get researching. What do we need first? We probably need plumbing first. Oh, Demir, has it changed? We need toilets first, so let's go with the sanitation science first. Because then that'll open our way to the medical bay as well, which is definitely coming useful. But then that, we've got our liquid pumps, we'll have our toilet and air deodorizer. Those are the priorities at the moment. So who's the best for research? Cheese it. Right then. Your new job is nothing but research. So, we'll get rid of you. Well, we'll have you cook an art as well, because, you know, why not? Don't really need you on power or anything else like that. You are literally research at the moment until we can get things done. So I'm just having a quick look around, and by the looks of it, this agricultural update is amazing. You've got so many new things, new plants all over the place. Ooh, we got a little puffed over here, or two little puffed. Loads of polluted water, which is good, because that will come in useful eventually. But yeah, so agriculture, as the name suggests, is going to be mostly about farming food. That sounds pretty cool. Research complete. So we've unlocked the pumps and the pipes. So that's going to research its everything it needs. While it's doing that, what we're going to need is a ladder down here. Hopefully they're not going to kill themselves while doing it. And then we'll have a pump down here. So when we do get our toilets and everything on the go... We can have the pipes pumping everywhere they need to. Over here we will build a polluted water tank. With runoff from the ice area. Because as you can see this is starting to melt. Probably because the temperature is getting a bit warm there. It's not really. Not that warm. But yeah. That will melt create polluted water. So that will also drain into the polluted water tank. And then we are going to have polluted water for days, which will run through into a purifier and pump back into the clean water tank. Hopefully keeping all waters separate. There we go. That is our research complete for the sanitation science. So as soon as we've got our pump and everything up and running, we can build our toilets and showers, etc, etc, etc. Oh, we're starting to overflow of water here. How? We're somehow generating water. Not quite sure on the reasoning or... Yeah. So, let's crack on with this tank so we can get our pump on the go. Can we not reach this? Ah, uh, it is unreachable. Okay. Shouldn't be because we can get down here quite easily. Okay, right. What we'll do then is we'll just slap our pump in straight away. Prioritise that. And hopefully start draining some of this water, making it a little bit easier to move around down here. Come on, Amir, get out. You're going to drown, get out. There we go, bloody idiot. Okay then, so liquid pipe will be going up here. Don't know where I'm going to have the toilets yet. It needs to be near, kind of central to everywhere. So what we'll do, slap another floor onto, onto, uh, about there. That looks good. We'll have a floor there. And we'll have a toilet and a shower. How big is the shower? Because that's the biggest. Okay, so we're going to want... Ceiling like that. So we have a doorway here. So you, you, know, you always want a doorway on your toilet. Prioritize that. Nope, not you two. Get that built! Okay, so apparently cheese its has contracted hypothermia. How do we remedy that? Oh, there is no remedy. 
It just lasts for 1.4 cycles. Okay. Sorry, man. Probably need to start mopping up this water then. Go on, mop that up. Oh, wait. I should cancel that. And then mop. Priority 9. That's probably not helping the whole, whole hypothermia situation. And here... We're going to crack on with our polluted liquid tank. So there we go. The basics are done. We should now have working toilets and showers, which means we can deconstruct that bad boy there. If we're out of this view. So there we go. We have working toilets and showers. We have massage tables. We have research. We have beds and we have food. That is the basics done. So hopefully in the next episode we can start living a good life. Start looking towards better oxygen supplies. Better food and warmth. Probably want to be cracking into this area just so we've got a refrigerated area to store our food. Or even research in the fridge if we've got enough power. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I've been The Forehead. You guys have been fantastic. I'll catch you in the next video. Oi love moi brick.